Jack has XYZ is first. Sorry, ham time. Hello, generic 193. Wild card ham time. You had an ad re. Uh, is the audio and background music okay today? Hopefully, no issues. So I had an issue last time. <coughs> I was gonna go gossipy to be first. <laughs> Jack was XYZ, that's the first. Are you a new subscriber, lurker? Tommy Crayons, hello. Hello. Ooh, looks good to know my Nightbot triggers are working. <laughs> oh, since when did Holy Pandas go to second? Uh, he's been second for a while actually, wild card. Yeah, he was always second. But the, the third person play switched. It used to be Zondet, but now it's Talisman Solutions. Jack was XYZ. I'm on your Discord, just haven't been around in the streams much. Ah, I see. Yeah, your username seems new, but glad to have you. Paper sign, hello. Oof, CF Hazel. Not first, unfortunately. It's a couple people ahead of you. Oh no. That link is not formatted correctly. Harrison Fouts1, hello. Solid Snake Drive, hello. Ace the Iceman, that's also a new name. R Carp, also a new name. Meng JH23, also seems new. KBCK, hello. I should change my Nightbots. I don't know if you can change the formatting though. Pro McDougal, hello. Uh, oh, Prof McDougal, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Uh, Holy Panda, someone is coming for your position, by the way. Or sorry, Kelly. I'm too used to calling you Holy Pandas, aren't great. <laughs> uh, Patreon.com. to get that next badge <laughs> wow wild cards thank you so much for the 700 bits holy i just found a new dope background for my desktop okay r carp long time lurker yeah i thought so glad to glad that you finally came out from lurking is that a stock ass hhkb uh yes but it's a Pro 1, so there's a good reason why it's stock. It's a Pro 1, not a Pro 2. So it's got some dank, dank domes. Uh, I plan on just using it stock for a couple more years and then lubing it. Have you ever tried Hakko Royal Clears Trues from Novel Keys? Uh, never. I haven't personally built a board with Royal Clears or Trues. Rumai, what the meme? Hello Nathaniel Kim, hello boy underscore pi. Time to eat and watch NK after work, nice. Hello shenanigans. Tonk tonk, hello. Tef. Tef Rice? Lurker finally commenting, yeah that's also a new username, hello. Funky Badger but well, PCB will this be? It is using the DZ60 today. We'll give it until 8.10 and then I'll start the unboxing. 
Yeah, today is a tofu. First time tofu ever appears on my stream or channel. Prof McDuckle, thoughts on Hako Trues? I got to them. Seems like most people don't like them. I however love them. Uh, I actually really liked the Hako Trues too, Prof McDougal. Um, I actually preferred the Trues over the Clears for the Hakos. Um, and yeah, I think Hata did a really interesting thing where generally tactility is thought of as a mid bump. Um, and then there's some switches where the tactility is achieved at the beginning of the bump. But with the Hako True, you achieve tactility at towards the end of your press. So that's really interesting. I actually, yeah, I actually really like the Hako Trues. The Schmiz, hello, how was your day? Uh, just got home not too long ago from work. Wildcard, go Rams. Yes, go Rams. Ron DG, thoughts on Samurai Blue by Zombamon? Samurai Blue? Is that the J Japanese set? That's like a bunch of acronyms <laughs> are you gonna do a closet tour i don't know i don't know maybe 10k maybe 25k we'll see dz60 does dz60 have issues with switch alignment with the bottom alpha row because of the 2u right shift shenanigans uh, I don't- I have built- I built my QXP with the DZ60, I don't think I had an issue with mine. KB6- KBCK just ordered a M60 Kuro, Telios on the way, nice. But I might end up getting some Telios to see what the hype is. Telios are pretty smooth. Ooh, Weston Miller, hello. <laughs> well, 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 if it isn't Taihao types. Zondat? Yeah, Talisman Solutions kicked you out, Zondat. You're still a VIP though, so it's okay. Ma'am, spit in my mouth. Oof. <laughs> Will you spit in the tofu for 100 bits, Lord Squishy asks. It's not my tofu, unfortunately. Today we have a new drink. No coke, no frap. I'm going Arizona sweet tea. Will you spit in the tofu for 25k? Is that 25k US dollars or 25k bits? Remski like my butt weiss. Uh, Kia Moose, thank you so much for the follow. What up chat, what up Nathan, worst Lux player, hello. Arcarp, I keep forgetting this is live, trying to fast forward to the build and sound test. <laughs> this is on that 25k USD. Hey, 25k USD? I don't know how rich people are. I, I would spit on a customer build for 25 US, 25k USD. Weston Miller, Remski, you skip smell like three day old cottage cheese mixed with toenail clippings. Mmm, my favorite. Kia Moose, yeah, I finally caught a stream. Yes, glad you could make it. Did you see the GMK Mizu? Uh, yeah, I actually like it. I like it. I like that blue is becoming, lighter blues are becoming more of a thing. I'm not a fan of regular blue. I like dark blue and light blue, but like just normal blue I think is whatever. Just pop my stream cherry gasm. 321GHB. Did I end up selling that half ass penumbra? No, I haven't listed it. I would, I just thought I might sell it to someone on my Discord. Blank Turk, hello. How are you doing today? I just got home not too long ago. <laughs> so on that, I'd ship it with the spit in for 25k. <laughs> Can you do that for my uh, Noxary board? I would like some Zondat spit. And then, yeah. 
Oh, Luke Vader, thank you so much for the follow. Carlos Q Man Jr., hello. Pastel blue is the best? Yeah. Would you spit lube a whole keyboard for enough bits? Uh, what is enough bits, Sikonas? Did you order anything from Rama? No, I'm not big on 60%, so I didn't join in for the M60. Mizu is just blue taro and I love it. Huh, yeah. Now that you say that, yeah, it is blue taro. Uh, CF Haswell, thank you so much for a tier 3 sub. Three months in a row, wow, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Have you ever used the thick clicks? Yeah, I have. Uh, if you look at my channel, I do have a uh, box navy video. And I, I, I've used thick clicks, yeah. The schmiz, where'd I get that cable? Uh, I have a command for you just for that. Okay, it's 810. Let's start the unboxing. Let us start the unboxing. Ooh, Mr. Improvade. How do you, is it Improvade? Improvade? Improvade. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. Emuk, finally I get to catch one of your streams live. Glad to have you. Thousand Solutions NK is a Kigger lurker. Wait, Kigger is in chat? Kiger? Is it Kigger? Kiger? Is she in chat today? I am Aver, hello. <laughs> Remski, are you all booked up or can I send you switches to lube? From what I hear, you heart Taya Types' exclusive luber. Improvate. Improvate. Second option. I actually don't remember what I said. <laughs> I don't know what the second thing I said was, so. I'll go with impro Improvade? I'll go with Improvade for now. I think I said Improvade first. I'll go with Improvade. Okay, so we have Zelios V2, 78 gram. Unlubed. That should be interesting. We are doing an unlubed build today. Hi Henry, I paid over one hundred dollars <laughs> CAD for sixty switches. Sixty. The majority of switches in that bag are fine, but I would appreciate a little quality control for how much you sell them for before tossing the switches in a bag and then mailing them to the custom. Uh, holy pandas are great. Thank you so much for the 500 bits. That's a, that's a pretty good copy pasta, not gonna lie. I don't know if that person who sent the email is watching my stream, but... It's a very interesting read. Okay. Ooh. Tofu or Tina? This is... Tofu, I believe. Will you tell my wife I am normal for watching a very handsome Korean man build keyboards live? <laughs> Straight classy, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Uh, Mrs. Wife, if you are watching, your husband is a very normal person. Okay, so we have... I'm guessing this is also a KBD fans plate. Tray mount. Um... Whoa, what is this cutout? Is that normal? This is not normal for a tray mount hole cutout, right? Ooh. Oh, the PCB comes screwed in, okay. It's interesting. Unless the customer screwed it in. Ooh, okay. This is my first time looking at the tofu. Um, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice, actually. Uh, I'm 
mean, the, the anno's not perfect. Like, I don't know if... Can you see, like, the bands? Like, there's, like, a giant... Darker... There's, like, sp is this streaking? What would you call this? It's not perfect, but it's not bad. Uh, Princess Strawberry, thank you so much for the follow. Yeah. But for the price, I would not complain about this. There's definitely some streaking, but... Yeah, this is actually really nice. My only complaint is it's so sharp. <laughs> like this case, the edges... I don't know, it needs like a fillet or chamfer or something, but it's too sharp. Like these corners... Oof, this hurts. This hurts a lot. I have delicate fingers. I don't know. I mean, I've had the feel before and the feel has all sharp corners too, but... Like this hurts. This, yeah, this hurts. I feel like you could almost cut paper with this. Why are you not allowed to get full gogi at all you can eat? <laughs> Tell me so I can explain to my degenerate friends. Uh, Sean Hannigans, thank you so much for the 50, or the 50, the $5 donation. It's pretty sharp. <laughs> I mean, I, I am definitely applying force to it, but... Like, at the right angle, yeah, I just cut a post-it paper. <laughs> It's sharp, but I mean, yeah, build quality, not bad, not bad at all. Okay, let's let's get to building this. <clears throat> Built-in letter opener. Why Nathan out here trying to self harm? I'm not trying to self harm. It's just I. That stood out the most to me. Like other than... I, I, I didn't even care that the Anno wasn't perfect. I mean most boards rarely come with perfect Anno but... It hurts holding it. Maybe I'm just too weak but it hurts. It doubles as home security as well. What? Thousand solutions. What are you doing? <laughs> Thank you so much for the two, 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 two bits. Dang, you're actually trying to beat holy pandas. Aren't great, huh? I think I removed. Yeah. Ooh, okay, the interior looks like this. Pretty... Yeah, I mean, I don't really care what the interior looks like, to be honest. There's some marks here. It's all good. Yeah, you can see the darker, like, streak or band right there. It's all internal, so not too big a deal. Okay, so we are going to build a 60% today with full right shift, full backspace, full left shift, and come all 1.25 mod bottom row. That is what we are doing. Did I enter the coral raffle from CYSM caps? I did not. We are repeating songs, I believe. So that means it's time to switch. Cherry MX Brown are the best switches to ever grace the keyboard community. Only true keyboard connoisseurs will be able to appreciate the true beauty of putting keycaps. <laughs> Holy Panda's aren't great. Thank you so much for the 500 bits. Uh, Corbin Dallas, hello. Is this a customer build? Yes, it is a customer build. 
Hey, there's nothing wrong with MX Browns, okay? I actually like Browns. I know they get memed on a lot in the community, but I actually really like Browns. Uh, putting keycaps, I could care less for. NK is lying to us now. Zondat, come on, don't be a quitter, Zondat. Does anyone know what 8008 is even gonna look like? Oh yeah, I saw Dixie Mech's website. Uh, I have no idea what it is. Like, actually. I'm not even lying to you and like withholding secret information. I have no idea what that is about. Okay, we're gonna start by clipping the stabs. I'm stuck by myself. I'll get second spot if you come to LA. Oof. We'll see. I still have not been able to put time... Wait, is the show on Friday or Saturday? The show is on Friday, right? Which means I would have to take Thursday off? Imuk, Imulk, would you lube this key switches if we really were going to? Yes. I lube all my switches. If I can. And I think everyone should too, but um, not everyone likes lubing their switches or lube switches, so. Spectrin, hello. Teal tracks, hello. The internal dampener from Rama looks so good. Yeah, that's a cool concept. That is a very cool concept. I feel like Rama's been doing a lot of... Uh, uh, what should I call it? Research? Innovation on like dampeners? I mean, he also dropped the, sh the heat shrink mod for stabilizers. And everyone in the community was like mind blown. So that's pretty neat. Curious as to how effective his internal dampener is. Should you lube? Where's that TK spit lube? <laughs> Finally a quality keyboard on this channel. The tofu not not too bad so far. When is the Thai House stream? Thai House type stream here. <laughs> I don't know, man. Imp Impervade. No innovation. Would you loop box switches? Oh, okay. So box switches. Um, a switch I would not loop. Well, I, I personally wouldn't use box switches in the first place. <laughs> But yeah, whenever I did use box switches, I did not lube them. Wait, what's the heat shrink mod? Uh, Possessed Gamer says you should head over to Rama. I believe he's Rama works on YouTube. It's basically Rama's YouTube channel, or or his website. And for he he basically puts a heat shrink around the ends of the wires. I th that's actually a really clever concept. I don't have heat shrink or a, or a heat shrink gun, so never tried it. But yeah. Wilbur, hello, research. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to call it. What would improv improv improvade said it's not innovation. Wilbur saying it's not research. Experimentation? Is that what you guys would call it? <sighs> Ta 
Tonka Tonka. Imagine using box switches in 2019. Yeah, it's kind of sad what happened. They're like completely off the radar right now. Um, with the whole box gate stuff. Okay. We are using... Oh, my focus is so bad. Okay, 205 grade 0 Crytox for our stabs. What we have been using... I think... I Yeah, I think since I started streaming, I've only used 205 grade 0. Mega Force, thank you so much for. Wait, is that six months in a row? Dang, Mega Force, six months in a row. I think that's the first six months I've seen. Mega Force is my number one fan. Thank you. <laughs> lick, 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 I lick, I wanna eat your redacted. I can't redact my nails, so I pick it up with chopsticks. Where do you guys get that much 205 grade zero from? Uh, I placed a large order with Krellbit last year. I believe I ordered something like 13 or 15 vials of 205 grade zero. And now I am down to around two and a half vials. If I combine all the vials. There's five vials, but like I, did, I just pick and choose whatever first vial touches my fingers so they're all used Tonka Tonka I'm Mega Force's biggest fan oof <laughs> Nathan Kim to call the 205 grade zero <laughs> I don't think that's true. There is there is definitely way more 205 grade zero than 13 vials. That lube is going to end up like back alley cocaine deals with all the demand. Is 205 grade zero out of stock? I mean, if it's out of stock, Krell was going to restock it. It's not like it's not going, it's never coming back. Krell is just busy with life. He will definitely restock it. Should I leave my Telios unlubed for my first build or should I lube them? Uh, I would recommend lubing them. Yeah. I would recommend lubing Telios. Um, if you're too scared to lube the switch, the stem, I would say lube the springs at least. Lubing the springs helps tremendously with the noise, the, the acoustics of the switch. So yeah, if you don't want to go as far as trying to lube your switches because it's your first build, I would say you can lube your springs at least. It's hard to mess up lubing your springs. It takes a great amount of skill to miss lube your springs. Played golf with friends with Krellbit earlier today. Wish Remsky had played as well too. What? You played a game with Krellbit? You're that close to Krellbit? I didn't know that. Dang, Kelly, Kelly with the clout. Playing a game with Krellbit. I've never gamed with Krellbit. But I don't game in general, so. Did you see that broken stem Helio on Reddit? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Uh, that's something. That is something. I've never had that happen to me. 
or seen anyone else with that issue. So yeah, that was... That was something. Okay, you missed my joke from earlier. Morning coffee, sorry, what did you say? What was your joke? I don't know, chat chat is sometimes too hard to follow. You guys talk a lot. Crawlbit lives five away from me, says Anthro. Oh, okay. Did not know that. My man, Mart, if we ever play CS again, you should play with us. Oof, but I mean, I'm gonna be playing with this. You don't want me to join you with the, with a the trackball mouse for CSGO. Teha, where are you located now? I'm not not going back Korea for Chuseok. Uh, is that Gabe Jin? Gay Gabith? When am I going to Korea? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Probably not for years. Yeah, I haven't been to Korea in a long time. Because uh, Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un might never let me leave, so... I'm kinda scared, you know? Can't go to Korea. Morning coffee. Any good keyboard streamers on tonight? Oof. Not me. You should not watch me, morning coffee. Uh, sorry, I didn't ask you a question though. Where am I located? I am located in the Bay Area of California. NorCal. What key switch would you recommend for someone that really likes box whites? Uh, box jades? White Alps, Amber Alps, Blue Alps. When's the bag moving tutorial? Uh, there's actually tons out there. You should check out a uh, Wodan stream. Wodan bag loops on stream. So, yeah, any CS pl Go players on? Add me. I'm MG1. Oof. Also, I'm a mechanical engineering student with 100s of hours logged in CAD work, so I know a thing or two about designing. <laughs> Holy man, this art great. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Our Telio switch is good for gaming. I really like how it sounds. Uh, yes, Telios, I would recommend for gaming. It's one of the smoothest linear switches out there. Is, which makes it easy to spam. Plus one to watching Wodan. Yeah, I I really enjoy watching Wodan too. I don't know if it's because of his accent or just how how knowledgeable he is, but yeah, I enjoy watching him. I wish he, uh, I wish he streamed more. What's Wodan's Twitch? Uh, Wodan actually doesn't stream on Twitch, he streams on his YouTube channel. How hard would it be to do my first keyboard build? Forever Lude asks. <laughs> Nebulon, 58 bits. Thank you so much for the no slurps. Nebulon, I, I haven't slurped all year. I told you, I'm a reformed man. No more slurps. Um, how hard is it to do your first build? Uh, building a keyboard honestly isn't too hard in my opinion. 
Um, building a keyboard well, that's a different problem, but just building a keyboard in general, it's honestly not that hard. Um, I think a lot of people are scared to solder um, because just the concept of soldering, I think it's a scary thought for people and just daunting. But soldering honestly is not that hard. Like unless you're operating at ridiculously high temperatures or pushing down super hard with your iron, soldering is honestly not that hard. Uh, sorry, I missed a follow. J. Jin Flez, thank you so much for the follow. Majority of keyboard kits are like 400 plus. Is there any cheaper alternatives? NG and NGX and he says, yeah, this kit that I'm building right here, I believe is sub 200 total. Yeah, uh, you should check out KBD fans. <laughs> Holy man, this heart great. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. But yeah, if you're if you are looking for more budget options, you should check out KBD fans. This kit, the tofu kit that I'm building right now, I believe is under two hundred dollars. You're always scared of messing up your stabs. You know that comes with practice. But as long as you don't overdo your stabs, you are fine in my opinion. And it's not the end of the world if your stabs aren't perfectly tuned. I mean, as long as you add, even if, even adding, even if you under lube your stabs, the fact that you added something already makes it better than a stock stab. It might not be perfect, but at least it, it's improved from a stock stabilizer. Uh, what is that username? Kaori, I ordered the solder off your Amazon list and I have a Hakko iron. What temp do you recommend? Uh, I solder at 675 Fahrenheit. I don't know what it is in Celsius. Yeah, I'll also have some cool unboxings today after the end of the stream. If you guys want to stick around until then. Yeah, but got a couple things to unbox. Exciting stuff. Is there a noticeable what hoodie are you wearing in your donation alert? The Schmiz asks. Uh, it is a hoodie from Ronin. 87. Is there a noticeable difference in sound while using cherry vent black housings and a lubed T Leo? Uh, I, I have tried. Yeah, there was a build I did like that for a customer not too long ago. I, I would say it sounded better, yeah. I would say it's noticeable, but I, I honestly don't think it's worth... Oh wait, noticeable difference in sound. Actually, I'm not too sure. Not too sure, actually. I would say it definitely sounded 
more lower pitched than a normal Telio, but as for whether it sounded the same as a Vint stem, I am not sure. Three fifty-seven Celsius. That's there you go, Nebulon. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, as long as you buy a decent solder, buy some decent solder, and you solder at a temperature around three fifty to three seventy-five, I think you should be good. Uh, Churd, thank you so much for the follow. Forever Lou, the one thing is that you're not exactly scared of soldering, you're scared of screwing up a $250 keyboard. Yeah, but how else can you screw up basics to uh, a keyboard? The only place you could really screw up a keyboard is with the soldering step, right? I mean, unless unless you have some horrible PCB and then you happen to short it with your stabs and then it starts burning up into smokes. But that, that's pretty rare. And that is a PCB design fault and not your fault. In my opinion. FN, thank you so much for the follow. Best Gator on Switch, Meng, Meng JH23 says. Uh, get best Gator on Switch for me, and probably Gator on Yellows or Blacks. Nebula, my first time soldering was putting together a keyboard. I was scared when I started, but then I found out it was kind of easy. Yeah, uh, I mean, I have had soldering experiences. I took a couple electrical engineering classes in college, so luckily I had that experience, but yeah, soldering honestly is not as hard as it seems. Assuming you have decent equipment, you're using the right temperature and lead, it's honestly not too hard. A fear of scratching up my TX80 A4SE. <laughs> Another thing that I just don't have the money to get into building a keyboard forever lewd says, ooh, feels bad. We all know that feel. What you're trying to do. I see what you're trying to do. Galaxy Note 7 custom keyboard. What? Uh, what is that username? XDFN. Are the Roselios Sakurios different than the Helios? Uh, yes and no. They are essentially the same switch. Uh, they just have a different colored stem and there is a new spring weight option. Yo manga just in F validated KB general chat, for one out for all the good keyboards lost triumph face okay hand 100 100 100. 
Holy pandas aren't great. Thank you so much for another hundred bits. I see. I see you have some fresh copy pastas today. Impressive. I thought you had run out last stream. Does KBD fans have a CAD option? Uh, do you mean paying in CAD? I don't know if you can pay in CAD for KBD fans. Gabbeth, you're driving and watching your stream? No, don't do that. Just drive. Drive and then watch me. I'll still be streaming most likely by the time you get home. Unless you're on some like insane drive, but... I like how Roselios are shameless about them being direct recolors of their Switch unlike some other Switches in this hobby. <laughs> no. I mean, it is being done through Zeal. So... Yeah, I, mean, I, I guess Zeal could have potentially scammed people by saying it's a different Switch, but yeah. No, Zeal, this is why Zeal is a respected member of the community and why I chose him as one of my sponsors. Kia Moose, you want in on the ALF group by which ALF group by? Isn't ALF running a couple right now or am I wrong? I feel like Alf is always running multiple boards. <laughs> well, but good guy Zeal. Yeah, Zeal's a nice guy. And if you meet him in person, he's super cute too. You should, uh... If you guys don't know what he looks like, you guys should check out uh, Top Clax uh, interviews with Zeal. I believe Zeal's come out a couple times on Top Clax, so... Zeal always scamming with his zeal text. I want a panda keyboard, where can I buy Hachimosa's? What do you mean by a panda keyboard? Like a black and white keyboard? With Holy Panda Switches, is there anywhere to buy a board with Holy Panda Switches? There is no off-the-shelf board you can buy that comes with Holy Panda Switches. And right currently, if you want Holy Pandas, you have to buy them in the aftermarket. Unless you own Holy Pandas right now, you either have to wait for Master Up to ship out Holy Pandas or buy them in the aftermarket. Jacquez XYZ, what happened to the electric screwdriver? Uh, the battery. I just never bothered to charge it. That's what happens. <laughs> And it also just makes a lot of whirring noise, so I thought it'd be better to just not use um, the electric screwdriver on stream. You would assume Master Up will sell a Holy Panda board eventually? Yeah, that is a possibility. That is a possibility. Which one are you getting? Sakurios or Roselios? I am not too sure. I might honestly just go for the 62 gram one. Whichever one that is. Because I already have Helios. And I believe Helios come in 67 grams, so... Uh, Darth Raider 3, thank you so much for the follow. 
I mean, I, I could always swap out the spring, so not too concerned. And both colors honestly look fine to me. So yeah, I'm, I'm not too picky about the color for those switches. Oh wait! No. We were standing next to him at the summer SMK and didn't even know till Quakem's pointed it out. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the cool thing about meetups. Most of the people you interact with in the hobby, you do it online. So you have no idea what they look like for the most part. And then you meet them in person and it's like, whoa. So that's what you looked like behind your keyboard, typing away. Uh, Mr. Petrov, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Oh, okay. This board is pretty Swiss cheese. I have no idea where the space bar goes. <laughs> Let's first hope I put the... Okay, I believe I put the left shift in the correct place. How many places does a 625 go into? Not there. One. Oh, there's actually only one place. Ah, okay, not too bad. I assumed because of the Swiss cheese, it would support 625 in many locations. But it only supports it in one. Willing to cop photo of a lube spring from Seraphic. From NK Seraphic. Uh Seraphic, it's actually on my Discord. Um Yeah, just search for images uploaded by me. I, be I believe it's an image. And you should there should be a picture where I circled where I lube springs. Where do people buy springs from? Switchmod.net. How often do topper boards need to be re in your opinion? Uh, your custodian and friend. Ooh, what a nice name. Thank you so much for the follow. I haven't felt the need to re any of my topper boards so far. Yeah. Depends on the lube you use and how much usage it gets. I, I have a lot of boards that I cycle through, so... Uh, maybe that might contribute to it. Okay. Because, because I cycle through my boards, um, each of them gets not that much time. But yeah, I, so far I haven't felt the need to re lube any of my topo boards. Alright, it's bedtime. Good night, says Zondet. Good night, Zondet. I hope you dream about me. You're just here for the typing test. I see, Mr. Petrov. Switch mod is out of stock right now on springs. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Switch mod is out of springs. Okay, if, it, if we're going one, two, five, I believe we put it on the outermost, the leftmost. Sorry. Uh, are we going four, one, two, five on the bottom? We are. We are doing four, one, two, fives.
Ooh, Zeal's here. Hello. Can I have one Helio switch if I send Bob? What's Bob? Black on black? Have I decided which pink you're going to go for Mr. Sleeves? Ooh, that's a good question. I'm actually not sure. So on Keep Talk, more people are favoring the uh, saturated pink, I believe. But on Geekak, more people are favoring the more uh, muted pink. But I think more people voted on the Keeb Talk one, so we'll see. Hey guys, Mike from Mastrop here. We heard your comments and concerns on how we'd handle our acquisition of Geek Camp. We pledge to only make changes that respect the culture and heart of the mechanical keyboard community, in the spirit of enhancing the potential of Geek Hack as Amy. Uh, holy pandas aren't great. Thank you so much for a hundred bits. Okay, just putting random one to five, one to five, one to five. Ooh. Missing one, one, two, five. Oh, that looks misplaced. Subna, thank you so much for the one bit. Where am I? Have I joined or interested in any GMK group buys this year? Have I joined any this? What ran in the beginning of this year? I joined GMK Chocolate here, but I think that was last year. ran this year. Uh, Mizu looks pretty interesting. I, I liked Tactical but I don't know if I'll join because I don't know it's for me I mean obviously they're different they're pretty different shades of brown that tone but I don't know if I want two sets like that. Uh, Oblivion R2 I will definitely be joining. This bottom row, okay, I guess there's just a gap. That is the layout we're going with.
was just wondering, are all Razer key switches still made in China? I'm wondering as China, most of the time, doesn't manufacture reliable products. Oh, holy pads are great. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Wow, it's been a long time since I tried tuning an unloop switch. It sounds weird. Uh, just to come. I'm going to use some lubed vent blacks to make sure. I can't tell if it's the. I'm pretty sure it's the switch ping. But just to make sure that it is not my stab. They look like Zelios. Yes, these are Zelios V2s. Unlube, 78 grams. Is this a hot swap build stream? No, it is not hot swap. We are building a tofu, but it is not hot swap. Okay, it is not the stab, it is just the, just the spring noise. We still need to get NK to come to Keycon. Ooh, I wanna go to Keycon. Never been to Keycon. Does the Zeal 65 PCB support ISO? You lubed your HHKB with Trebosis 3204 and now you can't go back to stock. Yeah, lubing makes a big difference. Come on. Pizza Pocket, thank you so much for the follow. Okay, uh, we can go proceed to the soldering phase. I have figured out the mean bottom layout. I'm hoping I don't have to straighten switches too much. Why are good ISO layouts so hard to find? What is a good ISO layout? Hmm? Or do you mean just ISO? Are there variances to the ISO layout? Oh, a good PCB. <laughs> the OPC because there's no good ISO layout. <laughs> 
Uh, I, I, the amount of users that just use ISO in the community is not big enough. That's why. It's, it's all community driven. So, you know, every, every little bit of savings you can get matters. And there, there just aren't enough ISO users for a lot of designers and makers, whether it's PCBs or cases, to warn to them that they include the ISO option. Uh, Topra 45 gram or 55 gram? So on the real force, I like Topra 55 gram. On the HHKB, I am okay with either. I might honestly like 45 grams more on the HHKB. Yeah, there, there just isn't enough demand for ISO, that's why. Like the people who want ISO are very vocal about it. But there aren't, so it might it might seem like there are a lot of ISO users, but the truth of the matter is, at least within I can't speak objectively, but at least within the custom keyboard community scene, ISO users are at a significant minority. Huke Lemon, I have no idea what keycaps to get for this build. A good question. Sometimes the ISO cutout, even on like the high end customs, suck because not enough people care. ISO users should convert to ANSI. ISO people should not be into keyboards. Oof. What are your favorite switches in general? W key Chris asks, can someone hit him with my uh, favorite switches command? How dare you isolate your customers? Zeal asks. Pretty good, pretty good pun, pretty good pun. Good one. I, I'd be more than happy to do an ISO build, but I have never done an ISO build in my life. Uh, what do we think of Roselius and Sakarios? I like them. I like them. Uh, what time zone are you? I am PST. I live in San Francisco. The Bay Area. Does anyone know when the staccato keyboard group buy will begin? Is that Tomu? You freaking told me you troll. <laughs> I will kidnap Zeal PC. That's a bold statement. No, it's gonna suck for anyone who kidnaps Zeal PC in hopes of getting some kind of ransom because they will need to feed Zeal extremely nice meals for the time that they hold him captive or else Zeal might die and they will lose whatever leverage they have but if they're asking for ransom in the first place they probably can't afford Zeal's meals <laughs> I don't want ransom, but I want good ISO PCB. Even still, like if you captured Zeal, so you could force him to make an ISO Zeal 60 or Zeal 65, you would have to feed him really good meals. And unless you hire a Michelin star chef, 
You just can't. And then Zeal's gonna end up dying in your hands. And not only are you at a loss with money, but you, Zeal is also now gone, so you'll never get your PCB. You know, I'm in bed with my girl, watch the NK stream. Heine <laughs> Bush, is that Heine? Oof, well if, if your grill is watching, tell her you're mine, tell her to back off because we got married. Does she know we got married, Heine? Have you broken the news to her yet? She knows. Is she okay with being second choice? Gross NK wiping hands on your sweatshirt. It is soldering time, which means it is also sponsor time. The first sponsor we have today is Novel Keys. Uh, oh shoot, I guess the glow in the dark switches. Has the group buy ended already? Is it PST or EST? I know the group buy is ending today. Well, I guess I should stay it in case it's still alive. If you guys are interested in some glow-in-the-dark Gatoron switches, you guys should head over to Novel Keys right now. I'm sorry if the group I ended. Oh, there's my fan. Hmm. But yeah, you guys should head over to Novel Keys, pick up some nice desk mats, the iSwitch desk mat. Um, you can pick that up on Novel Keys, as well as GMK Bento, which released earlier this week. And if you're looking to pick up some switches or DIY kits, Novel Keys has it all. The next sponsor that we have is Zeal PC, who we actually have in chat. Um, like people have been talking about in stream today. Uh, Holy Pads aren't great, thank you so much for the 100 bits. <laughs> thank you so much for the bits and copy process today. I hope you have a good night, Kelly. Um, but yeah, the Roselios. And Sakurios, am I even saying that right? Are live on Zeal PC right now, and they are essentially the same as Helios. The only difference being they have a different colored stem and a new 62 gram switch. Uh, 62 gram spring is being offered. They are being offered at a sale price of nine dollars for ten switches. So if you missed out on the Helios uh, at the sale price or want some more, you guys should go check out the Sakurios and Roselios. The Xeno group buy is also ending, I believe, February 15th. February 15th, February 3rd. You guys should also check that out as well. And we have Heine Bush. He's not a sponsor, but he's a good friend of this channel. You guys should go help him out. 
uh, and buy EPBT Slate. I think, well, EPBT Slate actually broke MOQ, right? But yeah, it's a really nice colorway. You guys should go support Piney and go grab EPBT Plate while you can because it is ending soon as well. Has Mechanisk said anything about when the Clipe V R2 will drop? I have no idea. I did not know the Clipe was even getting another round. <laughs> yeah, no idea on what Mechanisk's products are going through. Is that a brass plate? Yes, this is a brass plate. Convince your friend to build a keyboard next semester. Do you know of a full size or 1800 compact layout that is produced regularly? TXCP? Uh, full size. Is the KBD 19X? Is that a comp is that a CP layout? I forgot what layout that is. Uh, yeah, the KBD fans has the 19X, I believe that's what it's called. But other than that, I don't think so. everyone's Friday going or I guess Saturday for some people Friday Friday night it's a Friday night game. I hope everyone's just going well. hope the smooth jazz is helping you end your week on a nice relaxing note Literally crying and shaking right now? Who's crying and sh Why are you crying and shaking, XDFM? Oh, because you're ISO. Uh, song playing right now. I have no idea. But it, I am using Epidemic Sounds. I can't hear the music currently because of the fan next to me. <laughs>
6 a.m. but instead of sleeping I'm watching you building antsy keyboards. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe you should send me an ISO keyboard to build. I'd be more than happy to build an ISO keyboard. is not the best at securing the switch. from the USA to Norway then back to Norway you have a paper due oh Friday night off just got off work too it would be over $50 USD just shipping maybe you should you move to the USA and then convert to ANSI I think that sounds like a good idea TBH Moving to the USA would save you a lot in the hobby. No more need to pay customs fees. It's a lot of money. What keyboard do I have plugged in right now? I have the HHKB Pro 1 plugged in. It's a Pro 1. Oh, is that Mog Genius you asked? I can't tell from your username color. But I have a Pro, Pro 1 plugged in. Is Electro Capacitive worth the money? Kasuki1027 asks. I think so. I really like Topra. Mm, some people don't. It's not an end-all be-all switch. But I, I personally like Topra. Ooh, Pudsy, hello! Max Meeks, how many keyboards do you own? I think including like the vintage stuff I have and keyboards I'm waiting on. I'm under 20 now. Where'd you pick up the Pro 1? I picked it off Mech Market. Yes, like Putty said, they tend to pop up on Mech Market from time to time. There was a black one that sold not too recently, which is pretty rare. Black Pro 1. For a decent price, too, I would say. I think every stream someone asks how many keyboard Nathan has, Gay says. <laughs> Yeah, it's inevitable, I guess. What what a lot of people probably don't realize is that I don't own all the keyboards that are featured on my channel, but <laughs> uh, they're uncommon but not impossible. Yeah, Nathan, did you follow the business in your Discord? No, I didn't. No, there was business? What business? Was there drama that I missed out on today? Uh, I saw the thing about the couch. Is that what you're talking about? I did read the couch story. That was pretty interesting. <laughs> but other than that, I don't, I don't know if that was today or yesterday. I remember the gnome picture. 
No, this isn't couch related, but it's a great story. Okay, I'll have to dig through again. Did it happen recently or like in the morning? Okay, I'll take a look. I'll take a look afterwards. How far? What? Well, give me a time. What? Around what time frame do I have to look at? Oh, okay, I'll understand it fast. Okay. Okay. My Nick kind of explains it in the meantime. Your Nick? Oh, your nickname on your server, I'm guessing. <laughs> but he's gonna tell the story about his couch. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good story, I would say pretty good story. I mean, I, I don't know the full history too about that aspect, but nevertheless, I got a good read out of it. <laughs> it's pudsy story time now. I just realized I didn't test the PCB today. I hope PCB works. I didn't have any issues with my other DZ60, so... <laughs> I, I believe, I believe, it should be fine, I think. For the GF and MK. <laughs> for the weight of the Zelio 62 close to the MX Browns. Uh, shoot, I don't remember the, s the weight of a MX Brown. When for NK's build was stayed up for Pudsy. <laughs> I'd say that's pretty worth. It's not often Pudsy shares his personal life like this on a stream. It's a pretty good read, I would say. Not often that you hear of such a story. It's pretty out there in my opinion. Okay. I just have the mods left now. 
<clears throat> Where do I get my Vent Blacks? I get it, or Retold? I get it from Arrow. Arrow.com, that is where I get my Retold Blacks. Uh, we are going normal caps lock, not stepped. So it goes inside. She was going to take it, you could have marked it, you know. <laughs> okay, let's see how much straightening this board plate needs. some straightening but so far left side doesn't look too bad Lock is straight. Left shift is actually straight. It was not straight, but it is. It was caps lock. This is this would have been a nightmare to build. Yes, this is why people don't like uh, universal PCB sometimes and plates, because not only do you have to figure out where each key goes, but there is a high chance you have to straighten the keys out. Because there aren't, there isn't enough plate around it to fully keep it straight like the alpha keys. You just have a large giant cutout. Mm. 
Does this support ISO? I believe so, yes. Yeah, it does support ISO. Yeah, you can put a stab here. DZ60 does support ISO, I think. This, this right side doesn't look promising, but we'll see. I feel like this right side might require a bit of straightening. This left shift so crooked. My right shift. Pearl slug. Thank you so much for the subscription. Twitch Prime stuff. Thank you so much. Uh, just trying to straighten out the mod keys. Holy, that is. Thank you so much for the five bits.
Thank you so much for another free nickel. <laughs> this right side plate, not very straight. <laughs> Thank you so much for another Free nickel. Oh, my gosh, this plate is terrible. Uh, Zekin, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Ooh, oof. Ooh, I love Zekin. Forever Lou, thank you so much for another free nickel. this stab wire pop out oh my how did it pop out uh. how does that even happen while straightening a keycap I wasn't even Why you don't go universal, guys? Okay. Ooh, that was easy. Back in. It's back in. But is it straight? Oh, they didn't even read it? What did I... Oh, forever loot, sorry. Free nickel, thank you. You don't know what to say. You know, if you combine it up for a dollar, you can use text-to-speech. Okay, left, right shift is fine now. This enter key still not straight. As straight as it gets, I think. Okay. I didn't test the PCB, so oh, it's USB C. What did I miss up on chat? Is that lead free solder looks really shiny? Um, it is leaded solder. It is linked on my Amazon storefront. Let's 
I've only seen one of those diamonds before in Tiny Stream. That's me. I became a VIP of Tiny's mod or Tiny Stream this week. Um, blah, 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 switch it. Okay, moment, moment of truth. one of these is FN okay so this is FN this is this is FN key this is probably not programmed by default I'm gonna guess uh, oh my gosh what is what are chats I'm so behind on chat GG uh, you bought a new HHKB. This is a Pro 1. So, uh, that's why I have two. Nice overlay, thank you. Is there a 60% keyboard that you recommend for gaming? Uh, off the shelf or custom? For people who have built DZ60s. So this is FN key. So that's fine. I'm, just, I'm going to guess this is just not programmed in by default. A lot of keyboards tend to not come with menu not programmed in, I think. So we are good to go. Good to go. Let us clean up a little bit. <coughs> Pro one looks new. Yeah, it was kept in really good condition. It's pretty much still white. It's like zero yellowing to it. Um, as for 60%, I mean, there's no 60% that I would recommend for gaming. I don't think the case matters all that much. It's more about the switches and how ergonomic it is for you. So. Yeah, I mean, you could honestly just buy any 60%. The Yeah, there's tons of 60% out there. I'm not this too... Music is doo -doo. Sorry. Sorry, Zekin, if the music's doo-doo. Yeah, I'm not too big of a 60%, so... I guess off the top of my head, uh, the Rama M60 that just came out, the VR2. Is it called the R2? Or the M60? Uh, Leaf 60 seems pretty cool. What else? Uh, you can try the HHKB if you want. QXP, pretty good. Uh, Fiel, pretty good. If you could find one for a little bit cheaper. Uh, what else? This Tofu, not too bad. For the price. Yeah, there's... There's tons of 60% out there. Okay. Yes, much gooder. Glad you like this music better as I can. Uh, okay, where was I? Uh, Sto Stovakin, thank you so much for the follow. Why are we removing keycaps? Um, because I just used them for stabilizing. And we are going to decide on what keycaps to put on.
What lube would you recommend for bag lubing springs? 3 till 4 is a pretty good lube. 3 till 3. I haven't tried bag lubing springs with till 5 grade 0. Is that the brass plate that came with the tofu? Uh, I believe so. I haven't purchased the tofu. I don't know if you need to buy the plate separately or not. Wait, okay, there are five screws. One, two. Wait, one, two, three, four. I only have five screws for. Uh. Okay, I was only sent five screws for the plates, but there are six places you could mount this board into. Is this the gray tofu? Yes, it is. It is the gray tofu. Um, I guess I will just remove the... I won't mount the middle. So weird because four of these screws are the same but one of them is a, a silver screw that's different not sure what that's about How often do you band-aid your mods? I have stopped band-aid modding my keyboards. So I don't do them anymore. Ooh, at least these screws are magnetized. So that's the nice thing. If you are going to sell a tray mount keyboard, you should sell it with magnetized screws, in my opinion. missing a screw so it is not my fault <laughs> it's not my fault I'll send one missing screw uh, you could honestly do without the center mount TBH okay so we are done uh, keycaps keycaps option number one JTK Yolsh GMK Camping You can do Muted with either of the Accent Kits You can do Olivia uh, Penumbra Solarized You can do 9009 Can do Burgundy 
and do terminal. We could do mid dosh. I'll stop. I'll stop. It's too much. <laughs> I have a couple more, but I'll stop. Okay, what is chat saying? Yolch is the best key set and you should use it. It's Kuroi. Okay, I'm here. Desolder everything and start over. Yolch, do Yolch. Screw camping. Yolch or die. Don't use my camping, NK. Uh, muted. Olivia. Olivia is good too, but do Yolch. Olivia is the answer. Yolch all day, every day. Olivia, so many keycap sets. Holy. <laughs> Yolch! Alright, I will pull these all away. Okay. Yolch, it is. Let Huke Lemon pick. Oh, the Huke Lemon reveal, it's his board? Yeah, okay, if he did. Huke Lemon, okay, what do you want? <laughs> Chat wants Yolch, what do you want? Is Huke Lemon even watching? Does he even know what half the key sets I named to look like? Oh, Olivia and Camping are my favorite, but I've never seen Yolch. <laughs> okay, let's do Yolch. Let's do Yolch. Yolch. Ooh. Supreme key set. <laughs> what is this? Why did my Yolch come with? What was that? Don't know what that was. Wait, Pudsy, you don't have your Yolch? Why? Why do you not have it? You just licked and wiped that stain NK. Yes, I know. See, Frontier shipping. To me after oh okay makes sense is that to save on shipping or This is also why I don't I'm not interested in a lot of GMK sets anymore and why I should stop buying GMK sets. I have too many unused right now. I've sold off a lot of my boards, so I have more GMK sets than boards right now. That's a cool novelty key right there. Ah, I 
shifted these all over. Sell me a GMK set. I like all the sets that I have though, I don't want to sell them. Give me one and I'll give you a poem. What? Yeah, I mean, I, I know why you wanted the old Chipotle. I know it's your son. You need to Marie Kondo your Olivia. No, Olivia, Olivia is a keeper. Olivia, Olivia is a definitely one of the last sets to go if I ever sell my key sets. Where can I buy Yolsh? Uh, you can't. Are there extra? I believe extras have been sold, right? Already, Pudsy? The Yolch Goopa has ended a long time ago. There are 150 extras, what? <laughs> that haven't been sold? Oh, okay, I did not know that. Sorry, I misspoke. Apparently there are 150 Yolch extras. <laughs> that you could potentially hope to buy. Mm, Yolch is going pretty nicely in my opinion with this gray. Who's ZF and what's RR? ZF is Z okay. Pudzi is explaining. Yeah. Z Frontier is a vendor. Red Riot is a keycap set. Kind of like how Novel Keys runs a bunch of key set group buys. Z Frontier does the same as well. Windows, menu key, or menu key windows. So like that. And where's my second? Oh, there's my windows key. Other way. Windows is closer to space. Okay. Good to know. We have finished the gray tofu. Oh, it came pre installed with bump ons. Nice. Yolch. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Hmm. Okay, so this caps lock is really close to the case.
Yeah, this caps lock scrapes against the case if you press way out here. Inside is fine. Middle's fine. Yeah, but once you go towards the left side, I'll have to look into that. But look at this. This is the first tofu KBD fans. All oh, right, yes. Unscrew it and move it over. You right. You right. It's the it's the PCB. Yeah, my bad. It's been a while since I've done tray mount. Yes, there is a lot of space here. It's my bad. <laughs> my B. Yeah, Yolch looks actually pretty good on this. The gray, the grays are all different tones, but I think it goes pretty well together. Yeah, the yellow looks pretty nice against these. This all gray tone. Look at this. It's a pretty big USB cutout, but that's to be expected. Yeah, can you guys see how sharp this is? Like, uh, that is so sharp. Like, these corners, it is too sharp, in my opinion. Like, you... This is an old timestamp. Did you hear that? It made over it. Look at this. It's sharp. It's too sharp. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> like even holding it like this, it's like digging into my hand. <laughs> Um, that is the only complaint I have to be honest Other than that you can't really complain about the tofu in my opinion For the price that you pay Yeah, I think it looks pretty nice, right? I mean, okay, so let me grab another post-it So, I mean, for, for reference, I, I am bending the paper like this, so that might make it cutting it easier. But, but, okay, this is my number one. Like, there's no, this isn't gonna cut. I mean, that's a pretty rounded corner. But, Get this guy, get this sharp corner, and then you go. Oh, oh look, look at that! Like, I can pretty consistently reproduce it with this, <laughs> it's pretty sharp, pretty sharp. Okay, well. <laughs> Enough of that, let's see how well it feels, how good it feels and types. Ooh, today's build is like all grey. Like carps, ooh, hello! Move my HHKB out of the way. The one USB-C cable I have is too fat. Um, do I have another? <laughs> do I have a USB-C
Good thing I... Wait... Yeah, this is my USB-C charger that I kept from when I owned a Samsung. Oh. Okay, this one goes in, but it's tight. It is tight. Okay, yeah, this one works. Okay, 10 fast fingers. Turn this off. Bring out the window. Everyone place your bets. Who's going to be buying the lottery ticket? Just one of these away. Okay, so this is the KBD Fans Tofu with Zelios V2 uh, 67 gram springs, completely unlubed, so factory condition Zelios V2s with JTK Yolch, has a brass plate tray mount, but we are missing the middle, the center mount screw. So you might hear the, uh, the PCB hitting against that center mount because it's not screwed in. Well, let's see what this sounds like. It's been a while since I've typed on 78 gram springs. Let's see. Uh, why is my internet so slow? GG, it's stuck spinning. <laughs> Hello? Did my internet go out? Hello? What? Is 10 fast fingers down? And fast fingers, it's not just me. <laughs> Ooh, do we? Why is 10 fast fingers down? What the? Okay, I guess type racer it is. Type. Oh god, my this score is gonna be terrible. <laughs> This has no What is this? No one buys a lottery ticket today. <laughs> uh, let's go through the mods.
Fui Fu, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Putsy sent me an image. Oh. <laughs> Feels bad. Uh, Red Meyer, thank you so much for the follow. Right shift sound best. Uh, yeah, because it has a brass plate, I think it's helping. There's just a lot, it's a lot, it's pretty loud in person. There's just so much volume, it's masking the spring ping. Yeah. What? CF Haswell, thank you so much for the gift bomb sub. Thank you so much, wow. Ooh, KB Warriors, we have KB Warriors. Thank you so much for the 10 bits. Dang, okay, I gotta do another typing test for CF Haswell. I can't see. Oh, no, that was bad. I cannot do this. This is why I do 10 fast fingers. It's to pad my score. No, it's still down. Race? Are we doing a chat race? Okay, let's, who wants to race me and lose? <laughs> uh, KB Warriors, thank you so much. Oh, wait, that is from last time. I, I legit can't, it's hard to see though. GG, sixth place. Who are these fast boys? Whoa, boy underscore pie with the 139? What the heck? It's Kuroi just started. Nice. Uh, oh, I also missed a couple subs. Uh, Anis, a nice birdie, and M7RK. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime subs. Uh, also, Sla Stovakian, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub as well. Okay, one more. Ooh, this is a short one. Oh gosh. Ooh, third place, not bad, not bad. Boy underscore pi with the 130, oh my gosh. Hey, I bet it's Kuroi. I bet Kuroi, I beat Kuroi. Kuroi sucks. <laughs> Again? Who are we waiting on? I'm using different keyboard, feels bad. Yeah, six, sixth place is pretty low for Kuroi. Okay, last, last one. Last one. Oh wait, has it started? Oh my gosh. Oh, I got third again, I got third again. Consistency, see, as long as there's no numbers and punctuation, I do okay. <laughs> Who 
Who got first? Of course it's boy underscore pie. Oh, who will win? Guest or dire desire? Um, someone's leaving. Kai Moose, you gotta go write your paper. Good luck. Good luck on your essay. I hope you write a nice essay. All right, that is it for today's stream. How do you guys feel? Pudsy, you gotta go pass out now? Have a good night too, Pudsy. Have a good night. Oh, okay, I will pull that out later. Unboxing time? Yeah, we can do some unboxings. Yeah, I will check the business afterwards. I will. Da -da -da -da. It's artisan time. So I got, I got, actually got a good amount of artisans. So the first artisan today. Hugh Clement, thanks for the build. I appreciate you. I hope you enjoy it, Hugh Clement. Um, yeah, but you should try to find the missing screw, or just cut it off entirely. Oof! Can anyone guess what colorway this is? based off this packaging. Really want Yolch now? Yeah, it's a nice colorway scheme. It's a nice one. The yellow goes really well against the brass too. You can see the brass peeking through. White, yellow, blue. Wait, what are you guys saying? Why are you guys saying random colors? So this is an ETF win. Oof. Look at that. That's, why is it having trouble focusing? What the, why is the focus so bad? <laughs> Hello? There we go. Look at that. I believe this is the Gargantua uh, colorway. It was the first one of his round of raffles that he had last week, two weeks ago. But yeah, it looks really nice in person. Pretty happy with the win. I got another egg face. I don't know if you guys remember, but I unboxed two other ETF recent wins. And those were all egg faces too. I'm gonna have another egg face. So that's unboxing number one. Artisan number two. Oof. Oh god, the focus is so bad. What the why is it so bad? Ooh, does anyone know what colorway this is? I should also turn on the music, it's a bit quiet. Do I have any art key artisans? I know. Why are you guys saying random colors? This is the magic agate colorway. So I've actually been trying to collect the full set. And I finally have the blank for it. Oof. My first completed set. Yeah, I don't know, I just really like this uh, Magic Agate colorway. So I thought I'd try attempting to collect the full set. My camera is really struggling to focus on artisans today. But yeah. Also, another really nice... I actually just realized both of them are pretty sparkly. From ETF. There you go. But, I have more. 
I also won a bro raffle over, I believe it was the holidays. Dun 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 dun. Look at this. How much does a full set go for? Uh, it just de it depends. Yeah. <laughs> Asks viewers what they think the colorway is. Viewers guesses colors. <laughs> There's no colorway just called green and orange though. That's not how <laughs> artists and colorways tend to work. <laughs> So I'm not too big on like skulls and whatever, but I thought I'd try just getting one to see what it's like. This is my first bro win ever, um, and the quality is pretty nice. Pretty nice. I like the little like, I don't know if you guys can see, but he stamps his sigil or symbol underneath the keycap sometimes, so that's pretty cool. But yeah. It's really nice. So, this is unboxing number three. Oh, wait. I have more. Da -da -da -da. I also want this from Bro as well. And these are Topra. But it's pretty. Kinda pretty. I might put it on my Pro 1 actually. Should I put it on my Pro 1 right now? Do you guys think it'll look good with the Pro 1? I wish I had the blink keycaps now. The white blinks. I feel like it would look nice with the white blinks. But yeah, pretty nice. Uh, these blinks are really impressive. Like these are some of, actually I mean, the material feels different as well as the f finish, I guess. But yeah, super pretty. I can see, I can now understand why people collect blinks. It's pretty nice. Uh, what's the difference between the Pro 1 and the Pro 2? Um, so Topra domes, as you use them and then as they age, uh, it gets more tactile slightly. So assuming you your Pro 1 is used, um, the domes feel different. So that's why people go after the Pro 1s. It's like, I would say it's in between a 45 gram Topra and a BKE Light Dome. Meltani, can we get a look of your whole collection later? Yeah. I will show you guys my collection. This is my current collection. Hmm, how to organize. I'll put the blank here. So that's the full set now. Ooh. I have finally filled up the evil box. Look at that. I've done it. I filled up my first evil box. The Mononoke is gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, I won this through Pernicious Pony's uh, Instagram raffle. Any uh, Princess Mononoke fans in chat? Look at this keycap. That's it's pretty clean and nice. I kind of want to start collecting the Mononokis too. The, uh, I mean, I don't know the colorways, but I've seen like a purplish colored one and it looks pretty cool. Yeah, I, I... Yeah, it's a pretty clean sculpt. Like the detail in the hair, the ears, the the mask that she's wearing, really cool too. You can see her necklace down here. It is nice. But yeah. 
what's the smiley face called and how much is it on mech market what do you what is that smiley face boy underscore pie uh, yeah lock csgo was your favorite linear clicky tactile switch our uh, favorite linear switch probably vintage blacks tactile uh, Holy Pandas, Topra 55 Gram, Orange Alps, Brown Alps, Clicky Switch, Blue Alps. What do you think of the JK Tourist Field? I don't know what that is. Do you have an address you can we can send something to? Uh, Sir Penser, PM me afterwards. PM me on Discord. What's the pink one called? Pink Dog one, this one. Uh, I believe the name colorway for this is DC PC Type Beast from GAF. Uh, these are, I don't know, maybe a little over 200 for this. Yalox yeah, CSGO, thank you so much for the 50 bits. Yeah, I'm not sure how much they go for nowadays, but. Yeah. Forever loot. Oh, I was just going off what chat said. Um, uh, no, in person it's more, it's more pinkish than orange. I don't know how it looks on stream. My, uh, my color balance is not the best for my streams. But it's definitely pink, it's definitely more on the pink, peachy side in person. I'm not colorblind. What are your thoughts on Telios V2? I love Telios. Yaloxiesco, thank you so much for the 50 bits again. Is that a watermelon keycap? Yes. Ooh. There you go. I have a watermelon and I have a coconut. A coconut. Can you eat the watermelon keycap, please? It's a yummy watermelon. Uh, Yaki Chris, great stream, Nathan. I'm Hank. Bet everyone see you guys. See you. I hope to see you tomorrow. I am streaming tomorrow. So yeah, have a great night. But yeah, I have finally finished collecting a box. I don't know if I want to collect more. This is a lot of artisans. I might just try to trade what I have for other ones. But yeah, that is that. Um, let me try to show you guys this. We have the Mr. Sleeves sample. So the colors are probably not accurate. Um, go to the colors that I posted on the actual thread, but just to show you guys um, how it looks on, on camera, I guess. So this is th these are the original samples. Uh, and then GMK sent me these, which are the new, this is the new pink sample. So these are all the same. They just, I don't know why they sent me so much. They didn't send me this much for the first batch. So what do you guys like? With this blue, I'm, I'm pretty set on this blue. I think I will lock in this blue. But do you guys like the more uh, washed out pink? Or the slightly more saturated pink? Which one do you guys like? Uh, will there be extras? CF Hazel asks. Yes, there will be extras. There will be extras. But they won't be for sale until after the group by participants have received their 
kit first. Ooh, actually, let's do a poll. Let's do a poll in chat. Poll new. Which pink do you guys like? Uh, muted pink. Saturated pink. I learned that you can make a straw poll with Nightbot. So place your votes there, guys. Go place your votes. Which pink do you guys like? Maybe this might help. Can we see the actual hoodie? Oh yes, the actual hoodie, yeah. This is blocking. Uh, so this is the original hoodie. And once again, the colors are probably going to be off. Blue, pretty solid in my opinion. I would say the pink. Uh, neither are perfect. But I think both go pretty well. So this is the more muted pink. And this is the more saturated pink. Mm, is, it a, is it a bit too bright? Me... Okay, place your votes everyone. Place your votes. Which pink do you guys like? Given that blue, I think the wash out looks better. Standing alone though, the saturated pink looks so good. Yalux CS Yalux CSGO likes muted. Damn, that's actually kind of a tough choice. What is the saturated pink, the one on the right, or the blue cap? Especially for muted, I think the washed. Yeah, so that's why I was conflicted when I made the post. I think both go well with the blue. So yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> like, I mean, I, I could honestly go for a third round and try to get an in-between color, but I think I think the pinks as they are, are nice. Like, I mean, I, I don't need to match the sweater exactly. Like, the sweater was mostly for an inspiration for the color palette. So I think, I think, yeah, we don't need to match the sweater exactly. I really like the saturated with the blue. It looks orgasmic. Okay, let's see the results of what people have been voting. Oh wow, okay, muted pink is winning in chat. Interesting. Interesting. 21 votes for muted and 13 for saturated. Okay, here's the question then. For those of you guys who, like, would anyone be pissed that I went with one over the other? Like, would you guys, is it just that you guys prefer one more than the other? Or would you guys be like, no, this guy color matched incorrectly. He needs to recalibrate his eyes. I don't like this set. I'm going to sell it on mech market. Okay, so you guys wouldn't be like angry that I chose one over the other. <laughs> Infinite Strata says yes. Uh, Stovakin, you gotta go to bed, but thanks for the stream. I hope you have a good night, Stovakin. <laughs> Recalibrate his eyes. Like, if I'm being honest, none of these colors. What the? Zio, please give me one Helio. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the $1 donations. 
<laughs> yeah, if I'm being honest, none of these colors, I think, match the original Pantones I chose. But I think that's okay because... Uh, I think the way the more muted colors came out initially like made me realize, oh, maybe I don't want a saturated of a color. <laughs> I see kids named Mr. Sleeves is Necro all over again. <laughs> yeah. So like, if you guys receive this, or if you guys receive this, you guys would be happy either way. That's good to hear. Yeah, I'll just have to make an executive decision on which pink I like. I just got baited by Nightbot, thought someone else was promoting an NK stream. Either way, not a miss in your opinion. I gotta go to bed, enjoy your one US dollar, Nathan. Thank you so much. Which one do I lean towards? Nazi asks. I'm still not sure. <laughs> I am not sure. Uh, I, I have been asking Zambumon for some help, but uh, still not sure. XDFN give. Please give goodnight kiss. So when I first received this, the new sample, the more saturated pink, I was like, eh, that's not good. But it's growing on me. Like the more I look at this pink, it's growing on me. But I really like the muted too. <laughs> so the thing is, this pink is kind of close to Olivia. So for people who wanted a reference. This is a different, I think noticeably different from the Olivia pink. The Olivia pink is closer to this color. Was it the muted one that was at the NorCal meetup? Yes. So this is the this this is the first pink that I got. That's the keycap I had at NorCal. So if anyone was at the NorCal meetup, this is the pink you guys saw. If you guys saw my QXP with it. Frosted Flakes. Why not make alphas with gray and white legend just as on the hoodie? Uh, oh, Frosted Flakes. So this is I'm running an accent kit. Um, I'm not running a full set. For those of you guys who don't know what the Mr. Sleeves kit is. Yeah, so this is the kit I'm running. Frosted Flakes. I'm not... It's meant to be an add-on kit for GMK Muted. Yeah, so like if you guys look at these Pantones, they would they are definitely more saturated than any of the keycaps that I have right now. But I'm I'm okay with the fact that the colors that GMK sent me ended up being a bit more muted. I think it looks better. Yeah, so like this picture was with the lighter pink. Um, this is the first sample pink. And then we have the new pictures here. I see Kitsune, you like the muted one, okay. Yeah, it seems like people like the muted one in chat today, too. So I'll have to do some thinking. Ooh, Naun. Thank you so much for the follow. Do a full GM case slurp. <laughs> I think the blue goes with the washed out pink more because the blue isn't as saturated. Okay, good point. Good point. Yeah, I'll have to do some thinking. <laughs> Who did those renders? Infinite Stratas asks. Uh, it was a mix of Janglad and Morning Coffee. I'm sure you can probably recognize Jinglad's renders. 
Um, and then the other ones that don't look like Janglad were done by Morning Coffee. Yeah, and you should hit him up if you look if you're looking for renders. Does some good work. need to pick up some extras if there are extras uh, there are there will be tons of extras <laughs> GMK muted did not do well to be honest it didn't it didn't hit MLQ and a lot of the vendors uh, purchased extras they have they helped me reach MLQ by purchasing it so hopefully once it starts shipping out to people it becomes a set that people want after seeing it in person Okay, that is all I have for unboxings today. Uh, I am streaming tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. Pacific time. I will be building my salamander. And I'm not sure what switches yet. I have a wide I have a couple switches I could use and some plates, so yeah. Be sure to come tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow should be the last of my streams before I can attempt to apply for partner. Uh, I need to pick up. Uh, you want to buy any of those pink Helios? Uh, I am Icy Kitsune, just because it's at a sale price. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure which color. I might just go for the 62 gram because I already have regular Helios. I'll be sure to grab some extras, and I would just need to get GMK muted. <laughs> Feels bad. What keycap set? What do you mean by that? What keycap set? Straw pole for switches? Yeah, I can do that tomorrow. I'll do that tomorrow. Finally got in first place on Type Racer with just 60 words per minute. Oh, on the board I have plugged in. This is JTK Yolsh. Yolch? Yolsh? Red Mayor. When did I first get into keyboards? 2015 was when I bought my first nice mechanical keyboard. Are you picking up GMK Hamon? Oof. I probably will. The only red set I have is Burgundy. So I will probably pick up Hamon, I think. I really like the novelties for Hamon. Uh, what stab should I go for? I would say GMK screw in if possible. Oh, someone answered. You're planning on getting two of the N sets, dang. Okay, baller, Tommy Crayons. Uh, let's see if, if there's anyone we can raid. I always forget to raid, so I've been trying to be on top of raiding people. Is there anyone you guys want me to raid? You should check out Slightly Musical. I will. Let's see who this slightly musical is. Oh. oh, it's Albert. I know Albert. I didn't realize his name was slightly musical. Dang, Albert has 2.1k streamers, viewers. Raid that Osu streamer again. Uh, she's not online. <laughs> Should we raid slightly musical then? If no one else has any other recommendations. Raid Ryuk. Who is this Ryuk?
what does Ryuk do? Oh, they're an Osu streamer too. Number nine in the world, no bait. Osu big gay. Uh, he, he seems too focused on his gaming. I don't want to bother him. Let's do slightly musical. Ray slightly musical. Okay, we're gonna go. Not that he'll notice me probably, but let us go raid Albert as he plays the violin. <laughs> So yeah, I am streaming tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. Pacific time. If you guys can come out, that'd be great. It is the uh, the salamander with the Kintsugi Anno that I had, so it should be exciting. I, I know a couple people have been waiting for me to build it. So yeah. Uh, looks like no more questions. So we're gonna go raid Albert. So until then, see ya nerds. Let's go raid him right now.